name is Alexis. Welcome back to Alexis TV. God bless you all as you guys watch. I'm super excited to be doing this makeup routine with you guys. Very beginner friendly. Guys, like literally walk you guys through this natural, you know, everyday look, you know, a church look or just something natural, something that you can do that looks professional. And I'm super stoked to even continue on this video. Oh my gosh, my adrenaline is a lot today. But <laughs> stay tuned. Like, like to be honest, you know, normally when you come on videos, makeup videos like this, the person's face is already beat and stuff of the sort. But my face is ready to be touched. See, the thing is about makeup, professionals always have their way of doing makeup, but it's in your way. You know, like, I'm going to show you the basic measurements of what exactly to do, what to not not to do. I'm just going to show you basically my way of doing my makeup. And then you guys can figure out how you, yourself, want to do your makeup. It might look crazy just to get to the process, but the end results is what it is. Let's get into the video. So as for skin, 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 skin. Um, it's good to drink water. It's, you know, that's what they always tell you, drink water, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Skincare routine, um, sometimes my face breaks out, like, let's say for when is that time of the month and all sorts of stuff like that. Certain stuff, my skin is sensitive, so certain things I cannot do to my face. So what I have did already is moisturized it. One, they always tell you that facial moisturizing lotion you know like the am this is sarah v this is actually spf 30 so i rub this on the face on my face this also they say gets rid of dark spots i don't use this often clearly or else my skin would be perfect but this is what it is this is the sarah v this is the one that i use for even when I wake up in the morning and I'm going outside, this is what I use. But it's just a lot of rubbing in and stuff you're actually supposed to use a lot, but I don't use as much. And then I also put on moisturizer, basically the lotion that I use for my everyday body. I put that on my face as well. So right now it's very soft, very smooth because I also cleansed. Wash your face, guys. Wash your face. Wash your face. Okay, we need to work on a clean canvas, not something that's oily. It's good that when you do do your makeup, it's after the shower, but you do need to let your moisturizer soak into your skin. Like, give it a little minute, you know, a minute, five minutes, you know, give it some time to really soak in, right? So my hair's already done. Now it's skin. The first thing that people normally do is eyebrows. So, so for my eyebrows, people normally do, you know, dip dip powders or brow pimey and stuff like that. At times I would use that, but not all the time. Um, today, I'm using my handy dandy pencil. And I love pencils because it's like, you know, drawing and stuff like that. It's art, you feel me? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in closer. We're gonna look at those brows. Funny thing is, I actually just wax my eyebrows. Yes, I sometimes wax my eyebrows by myself, especially because I have a waxing kit. And so that you guys can see, I have this brush that has a spoolie on the end. And this is for like, if you do the car and stuff like that. So this is the brush that I use. And I just brush up my brows, basically brushing them into place. Okay, so your brows are your most important, like, your brows actually put look together. If your brows are messed up, your whole makeup look is messed up, just start all over. So what I do first is brush up my eyebrows, you know, brush them into place, and then I start lining underneath, as you see below. I start lining underneath, and I just use a thin line. Sometimes I like to make sure that my pencil is really sharp, but today it wasn't that sharp. So I just line underneath. And when I line underneath, I go and brush my brows down, as you see, and I do the same as the top. Or sometimes I'll just brush it into place and just do the line to carve 
you have to carve in the way that works perfectly for you. So let's say if you like an arch, you could do an N on your eyebrow. Or if you just want your eyebrows to be the exact shape that you see it as, that's what you do. I try not to overline it because overdoing it kind of makes it look a little too extra and then your look is all over the place. It's good like for people who don't have brows, you can actually design how you want your eyebrows to look. You actually have a choice to make up your own brows, design how you want it to look. So I feel like people who don't have brows, it's good for them not to go too thick where they're like bulky and all that stuff. So it's just like to go, like how my eyebrows look thin right now. I like when it looks like that just a little bit. And then sometimes when I allow it to grow, it's a disaster. But I like to line it to the precise brow. So for the concealer part, I love these Elf, the Elf brand. I love, 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 love them. I believe I went to them when they first came out. And ever since then, I haven't went back. Before, I was using something more, let's say, on the cheaper side, on the affordable side, which was Pro Concealer. And I still recommend that for beginners as well because Pro Concealer, it's cheap. So like but it doesn't really apply cheap if you know how to blend it out or you know how to take your time with it but this this elf concealer this is it this is also in deep cinnamon um because i'm you, you're supposed to be like let's say two to three shades lighter than you so yeah this that is my color like and then i just line to make it very clean this is how to get your line very clean and i use a flat brush and if you don't and those those brushes that brush that i use that brush is in walmart i believe it's in five below i believe they're also in the dollar store it's from wet and wild and those brushes are only a dollar you can even find them on amazon and I love that brush. Love it. Love, 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 love it. And this, this is um, also brush that I use on clients and stuff. Stuff that I would use on myself is what I would use on clients as well. So this actually gives you a precise, very precise, very clean, very up there, up top of the top, 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 clean. Okay, but this you actually have to take your time. You actually have to focus and get that line as clean as possible. Okay, get it as clean as possible. And if you mess up, you can always start all over and stuff of that sort. But it is a lot of work. Let me tell you, it's not actually, it's not really that much work. You just have to take your time and gradually by gradually. Honestly, it might just take you 15 minutes to get your makeup routine done. To be honest, it takes me probably 20 minutes, but depending on how I'm feeling that day, it could probably take me 10 minutes, 10 to 15. Yes, all that I did in this video could take me to 10 to 15 minutes. Then I go in with this Real Techniques brush, and when I go in with this brush, it's just like to blend it out in blending like just blending it out actually gives you the exact 
it's basically what you want it's the cleanest thing because how it blends out it's basically for like concealer when you're trying to do your let's say a eyeshadow look if you're trying to do something like that it gives you that look so i like that brush i absolutely love this brush and then the next thing that i go in when the brows are done the brows are all blended out we go in with my all-time favorite baby skin go into the baby skin primer this i've been using this primer for the longest but to be honest there's better primers out there i have dry skin so i always have to moisturize my skin um it's just so that i don't have pores it's just like a poreless thing even though my pores are not big but i recommend that for people who have bigger pores like like little holes that are in your face to just make it simple so i use that and I actually love that so much. I just put that all over my face, like my forehead, my nose. Yeah, it's just everywhere because, like I said, I have sensitive skin and it's easy for me to break out. I'm even showing you like the breakouts on my chin or the dark spots that I'm trying to get rid of. But yeah, the sprays that I use, man, I've been a diehard fan of Mario Badascio for the longest and then also um the Morphe I just started using that probably a year or two ago Ooh, excuse me a year or two ago and honestly it's okay I just use it for mist I don't really use it for really setting spray Now, one thing that I don't use often is this NARS concealer. This It's in hazelnut. I don't use it often, but when I do use it, it's because my face is disrespecting me on high levels. So I have to, I've always had this birthmark where it's darker. It's also considered hyper pigmentation. So like, eventually you guys are gonna see that my skin is all one color. And that's probably gonna be after I try all these I just hurt myself on camera but anyway <laughs> after I try all these remedies they say um I'm supposed to be staying on my skincare routine but that's besides the point but I just use a flat brush to blend that out to pat that out and then go back in the same the same brush that I use for the concealer and blend that out as well and then but to be honest, you don't really have to use that brush to blend it out. But I just like it for like a more flawless thing, you know, to be a little bit dramatic. And then I go in with um, my beauty blender. I always make sure that my beauty blender is wet and then I squeeze out all the water. I just want it to be moist that when I do pat, it's like soft on my skin. Those beauty blenders that I got, I also, I got the black ones. For clients as well but I actually like them so I might get another whole set even though I have the ones for clients but I just like those beauty blenders they're black and they're on Amazon if I find the link I might just post it so I just blend all of that out and we get a little smooth underneath you know that is actually that concealer is actually supposed to be my exact skin color right so like let's say I don't want to do a makeup look, I'll do that, I'll set you know with the beauty blender and everything, then I'll go in with the setting powder, the translucent powder, put that over, and then use the loose powder to press that in so that my skin looks like it's been looking like that 24-7, like I don't have anything on. Like now I don't have anything on, but like it just gives you that look where you just feel like wow, like her skin is flawless but they don't know that she got stuff on her face <laughs> now femi foundation i have had this for the longest i actually need to get a new bottle recently i went out to get the color but i forgot my color and i picked up this color but it was a little bit light it was a little bit light and i was like Ugh, i'm just gonna have to use it on a client or whatever i hope that i find a client that is that exact color or I might just use it when I mix if I don't have their shade and stuff like that. 
so this foundation i just love it because i don't know it just kind of gives me the effect that this is my my actual skin color or what my skin is supposed to look like and i just blend that out on like places like here i don't put this all over my face because i don't really like foundation like that before my skin started breaking out all i used was concealer all day every day concealer 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 contour but now i'm foundation girl but there's nothing wrong with foundation it's only because i'm breaking out but sometimes you just want a light face so this foundation for beginner friendly i would recommend everything that i use in this video is beginner friendly because you can get this in walmart target all sorts of stores and if you cannot find it in these stores or let's say you don't have a store like this you can also order it online amazon has everything that i have except for like if it's from ColourPop or Juvia's Place or something maybe Juvia's Place maybe <laughs> Juvia's Place maybe but So now you're probably wondering why do I have so many different color shades of concealer? Okay, clearly the darker one is for the contour. Contour, so you would think my natural contour would be here, right? Like where I smile, right here. But you want your face to be snatched, you want your face to be skinny, right? So like where you would apply blush, which is probably like up here, you apply the contour right above there, right in that spot just going like that so instead of placing it right directly in the middle you place it up more and then you place your blush as well right above that so like it gives you like this you know snatched look and then also here when you go like this like you'll see me doing the video when you go like this it kind of gives you that snatch when you go back or some people go like that <laughs> contour but i'm just showing you the way that i do it and then the lighter concealer i always put here that's only in the summertime if i want a brighter under eye or something i just started doing that no i don't do that all the time but i do that sometimes it just brings attention to your face like highlights the best parts right and i like my eyes to be highlighted because they're very chinky and I try to make my eyes bigger, that's why you always see me do white eyeliner, but I also like black eyeliner these days. So you'll see me press the contour in. We are pressing it in, pressing it into the skin because we want it to look like skin. We are pressing it in so that people can see like, oh yeah, like this contour is snatched. Okay. And then I also do my forehead because my forehead is big i'm not gonna deny that at all it's big and then i use my beauty blender to blend in the concealer it's good to blend into pace place Whew, guys i don't even know why i'm out of breath blend it into place you know why because when you blend all over the place when you when you keep dragging it down you make your face wider you make your face appear bigger than it normally is and that's not what we're going through we're going for a skinnier version of ourselves we're going for the best version possible correct correct so when you blend you blend into place if you have to move it up you move it up you know we're just highlighting exactly where the sun hits you see like how i don't have makeup on right now right and where the light hits is right here where the light hits right here right here where the light hits a little bit here but down here this is where your highlight goes and then your nose you see that that's where your highlight goes and then the dark places where your contour goes that's just easy
on translucent powder is flashback approved meaning that if somebody flashes a camera you will not see no powder there you will not see none of that there that is if you do it right i'm talking about people that actually bake in all that stuff i don't believe in baking honestly i used to and it just gave like the ashy look but even with this translucent powder to be honest it doesn't really give that effect so what I do is basically press that into my skin. I just take off the excess because I don't really like that much. But I press that into my skin so that the oils, it basically absorbs all the extra oils that will come out and just gives you like a fresh, refreshed look, okay? It just collects the skin and makes it look baby skin perfect. Like no pimples or anything. Like there was no bumps or anything like that underneath you feel me and then the creases on top of your eyes you have to use the wet beauty blender to blend that out first and then um use the powder to blend that out because it kind of um creases if you don't do that like normally i would just blend it before i do anything else like set it first because it creases like a lot of like underneath my eye creases or on top of my eyelid you guys we have natural crease lines so for that yes I use the wet beauty blender and I also use a dry beauty blender the dry beauty blender is what I use for the powder and the wet beauty blender is just to keep it into place So the next thing is my favorite, 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 favorite thing is my contour palette. So I just go up the bridge of my nose. I just like that snatched look. It just makes me feel like I have a super skinny nose. Even though I love my nose sometimes, it just gives you that super snatched look. You know, our goal is to be skinny, okay? That's our goal. 20 our goal in 2022 is to be skinny and then i also use my finger to blend that out the access because sometimes it can be harsh so contour shade to contour here.
method the sculpting shade is what I use to dust off that ashiness in my highlight spots so the sculpting shade that is in the medium to dark I like that one this one is actually in Target but I believe it's in it's in Walmart and also on Amazon so even if you look it up on Google you can find that on there The palette that I use next is for darker skin tone ladies. This is like their contour shade. But sometimes I use that if I just want my contour to look a little bit darker. But I just mixed it with their sculpting shade. So this one is darker from darker or something. It's just the darkest one. So I use this one and I use their sculpting shade as my actual skin color. So that would be perfect for my actual skin color color and that's something not too light it's just perfect like a summer type powder that's what it is so I just use that to set the rest of my face probably like what you would do with loose powder that would be your actual foundation color so that's what I use The Julius Place palette, I like that like soft bronze type of look, so I use that brown, brown, almost like a burnt orange, but I don't use that orange for, <laughs> I don't use that orange for anything except for probably like my eyelid, I don't even know why I pointed to that. And then I use the pink as a blush, even though you can use other things as a blush, but just to show you guys that you guys can use highlight as your blush. You don't actually have to go out and get a blush if you have if you have eyeshadow, right? And then I also I like soft blush as well sometimes, you know, if I'm going for like a subtle look, I'll do like soft blush. But then after that, right after I do the contour, everything with the face is set. I go back in with the Mario Vadasco spreading. And then I go back in with the all-nighter spray and I just soak my face in that and just press it in. But I let it dry a little bit before I take that wet beauty blender, that, you know, moist beauty blender because it's not really wet. It's just moist. Take that in and press in all the moisture and set everything because this right now is setting your face. This right here is setting your face. Like, nothing should move your face. Nothing. So, this is it. This this right here, like this method, this is it. This is it. And if you even want to spray again, you can spray it again. Because why? It's all night your spray. Meaning that if you go out and you are, we are not in the world again. And we're not going back. Okay, guys. So, I traveled the world and came back. Literally, traveled the world and came back. So what I'm gonna do right now, <laughs> cause I was wearing my glasses and sometimes, you know, the glasses kind of, you know, get in the way. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. This is the only part that's not gonna be, well, not the only part, but one of the parts that's not gonna be a voice audio. So I'm just gonna press here, you know, like, I'm gonna come in closer. I'm gonna press here like where the glasses line is at see for me like i used to wear contacts so like i didn't have to worry about this as much and but then also when i started doing makeup i was wearing glasses so like i felt like 
the glasses kind of hit it so right now i'm just gonna go in back in with the powder with the medium dark i'm gonna go in with this and i'm gonna step into that sculpting shade and i'm just gonna lightly lightly we're just pressing that in you know just pressing that in and then here you know because i as you can see i don't have any more moisturizing substances on my lip meaning that it's gone and i just press that in press it in and then over the time like sometimes my nose gets oily so like i just you know press like by the end of the day there's no product ever on my nose why because i'm always touching my nose because my nose well a lot of people go through this but my nose actually itches a lot when i put makeup on or something and i'm just gonna go back in you know just in case i lost some dimension to my nose go back in with whatever product is left on here to be honest i don't really contour my nose like that but when i do it's contoured but anyway i just like how the inside you know like the inside is snatched so the side view so yeah right now i'm gonna get i'm gonna i'm gonna get back into the non-talking but i just love this and i took off my sweater because it was kind of hot <laughs> This is it. This is it. This is what we call a very, you know, a calm, natural, kind of neutral beat. Well, you know that there's makeup on, but it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's giving skin. It's giving textures. It's giving flawless. Everything that represents God, flawless. You know, joy. When you wear, when your makeup looks good, you feel good, right? like you're smiling thank you god like it just makes you thank god like oh my gosh thank you father for making me so beautiful anyway i'm getting off topic next now we have these jumbo eyeliners this i get from walmart this is the jumbo nyx liners and i just wanted to do the white because i recently did white but it was a black day it was like a black eyeliner type of day. And I felt like when I put on that white eyeliner, I was like, mm. You just go straight into the eyelashes, right? We're mascara, your mascara. These mascaras, honestly, you could get in Walmart. You know, the ones that do volume and stuff like that. I like for my bottom lashes to be noticeable now. I just like that effect. I just like how it looks when I have my lashes done and then my bottom lashes pop more. I just like that look. So I just did two mascaras, but I didn't OD on it. OD meaning I didn't overdo it. Per usual, where you would see my, you could see my bottom lashes from a distance. Okay, you you see me be like, wow, her lashes are nice. But I didn't OD on it. I just did a little something slight for you guys because I don't want to OD. I don't want to OD big time.
this is my favorite eyelash glue other than using hair glue I'm still one of those people that use hair glue but the eyelash glue just applies better because it already has a stick thing and when I learned that trick to put the the um glue on top of my lid and then on top of the lashes then apply it to my eye when I learned that I was like it's over for y'all it's over for y'all because I know what I'm doing like I know what I'm doing do you know what you're doing because I know do you know but that makes your lashes stay all night like it just then I have a natural mole like on my face other than my ring nose my my ring nose my old past tense old nose ring hole I have a birthmark right here um you cannot see okay there it is I have a birthmark do you know but that makes your lashes stay all night like it just keeps it snatched one advice that I would give for people that if you get new lashes right out of the pack to cut the corners what do I mean by that cut off the corner if you see an extra like an extra line piece or like you try it on and you're you're getting that uncomfortable feeling on your eyes cut that bro take those lashes off and cut that piece off in the front let me see if I can find a piece cut that thing off because you're going to be uncomfortable all night I don't want to use a new one but there's like the front of the lashes which would be like here the shorter version right cut that piece off that point that part that's pointy cut it off you can cut it off you it's your lashes cut it off and even cut off the tail too if that's bothering you as well cut it off just cut it all off and then you just like put it i usually go to the middle and then i pull the ends pull the ends and it is perfect so now for lips they say to use you know the same pencil as your eyebrows so i'm gonna try that out even though i do that all the time but today you basically just line your lips some people overline their lips but i like to go with the shape that god gave me And then this other, this like lighter brown kind of like gives it a ombre effect, if I should say. And today is by Maybelline. This is a Naked Rare 144. This is it, Maybelline. And then I just go in. This is my probably everyday nude lip, right? And then I locks. This is it. I believe I got this from ColourPop. And I just go over everything with the gloss. Because it's glitter. And then this is it. Highlight, I don't really do highlight anymore. But if you wanna do highlight like in your inner corners, you just take an eyeshadow palette. I would use this cause it's like giving a rose gold and I will take the tip of my finger and just put it in my inner corner. And we already sprayed before, but you would just spray again, let it sit, press it in a little bit more, any excess, and then that's pretty much it. Hey guys, so this is the end of the video. I'm finally done this look. Um, there's some things that I did off camera, like um, line underneath my eyelids with um, the black, because the white sometimes goes up top and it makes it look like there's space between your eyelashes and stuff like that right so that being said this is the 
finished look this is the look that i did the other day when i went to the program this is a cute date night look with you and your husband or you just want to take yourself out on a date because self-care is everything as well you know go on dates to talk talk to god stuff like that i'm gonna start doing that actually and i might take you guys along with me I'm gonna take myself out on a date just to talk to God and you know eat and be by myself enjoy my own company before I am fully tied down <laughs> but yeah this is it if you guys like videos like this make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell but this is the finished look I don't know if it's my ministry to the promote this Bible guys but this is probably the best Bible I've ever had you know because I had to buy my own Bible for myself um, because God had led me to and I pray that God leads you to buy your own Bible as well but this is the NLT version I believe this is like the one of the easiest versions because it's like straight English to me you know this is the New Living Translation. And I love this Bible. It's like straight English. And like even in the back, they give you like things like, uh, let's say understanding, stubbornness. They give you strip scriptures for that. Popularity productivity all that stuff so if you do not have a bible i would suggest that you get a bible from your app which is on your phone i'm actually even gonna put that up there you could get it it's a it's the bible app it's called the holy bible and you just click on it it's the U version you click on it and it gives you like options you know you can listen to it you can listen to them read to you You can slow it down you can speed it up you can train any translation you want anytime you can get Bibles from anywhere you can get it from Amazon you can get it from Barnes and Nobles you can get it from Family Dollar you can anywhere any everywhere guys so god bless you all and i love you guys with the love of god if you are here and you are dealing with the spirit of rape or you're dealing with the spirit of lust may god deliver you and free you in jesus mighty mighty name you know it's something that i can pray for people for because i went through it right so i love you guys with the love of god make sure you guys comment down below and share this video so other people can be blessed God bless you guys. You are Lord our God. 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 Jehovah. Jehovah. Jehovah.